amazing how little fuel it took. This part here is really hot, obviously. This is the heat dissipator. This is the burning chamber. The wood goes in here. You remove this to light it. Okay, bring, me up, bring me up some more sticks now. Yeah. Put put small sticks in there for now. This one? No, small sticks. Is that a small stick? You're gonna wash your hands sometime. Yeah. Put sticks in there. Your hands. The fire burns right down here in the bottom. The heat and smoke go this way. There's another one of these tubes in the middle here. So the heat, the draft pulls the heat and air this way. As you can see, there's no heat or smoke coming out this part because the draft is pulling in, the air is coming in here, fire is burning in this chamber, the draft is pulling, and a very strong draft is pulling it this way, and there is another tube inside this cylinder, another tube like this inside this cylinder, so the smoke and heat come in, go up, go around the sides and then out this exhaust and then out the flue the Liberty rocket wood burning stove super efficient small pieces of wood burn small amount of heat I mean a small amount of fuel produces a huge amount of seat of heat terribly efficient the heat is radiated from this chamber here Very small of heat, I mean very small amount of fuel heats my entire house. This demonstrates how hot it gets. Two gallon stainless steel bucket sitting on top. Water is not terribly hot yet, but it will be very soon. This part right here is very hot, way too hot to touch. The Liberty Rocket stove is made out of steel. It's not made out of cast iron like your old wood stoves. Instead, it's made out of steel. You want to slow down the burn rate you can put this top on the in the air intake leaving it so some air can pass through
the Liberty stove gets very hot with a very small amount of wood. Here we're just burning sticks from yard waste. This thing here is already too hot to touch. This is the heat dissipator. The heat comes out here and yet there's still a very good draft to go up. Um, it has a very, very strong draft. We're starting off with some sticks here and then tonight we're going to try burning some charcoal. More? Yeah, more. We have a bit more, in there. more? Yeah, go ahead and fill her up. Now that we got a hot fire started here, we're going to see how it works with this Duraflame. Dura Burns over two hours, Duraflame log. Okay, it's beginning to burn real hot here now with that Dura log in it. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit by putting the cap on. The lid slowed the burning down too much and so I took it off so it could get air and uh, start up again. Even though the deer flame log is burning and flaming because of the drought pulling downward and outward, there's still no smoke coming out here. It's all going downward and through the heat exchanger. I was getting a little smoke coming out of here while the paper on the uh, dura log was uh, lighting, but now that uh, it's lit, the fire is going good, the dura log is lit well. Again, I'm not getting any smoke coming out of here. All the smoke is uh, and the heat is going, being pulled downward like it should be. That's the Dura log flame, or Dura flame log. Red hot. Beginning to glow red hot here. Red hot. So I put the top on to slow the burn rate down. Even though the stove is burning red hot, The reclaimer still hasn't turned on, thermostatically controlled. And this part of the flue is warm, but it's not so hot that I can't touch it. Most of the heat has been dissipated by the uh, dissipator there. But I have a very, very strong draft going up. This part here is very hot, but I can still touch it. So there's enough heat that goes through to produce a very strong draft, yet most of the heat is dissipated by this part here. So this uh, stove is very, very efficient in that most of the heat that it produces is dissipated through this cylinder here as opposed to losing the heat of the flue.
When you put this lid on, it shuts the fire down completely. Completely shuts it off. Okay. Put it on at an angle like that, allows some air through. Then it burns, but not quite as fast. You can see why they call it a rocket stove. It burns like a rocket. Sounds like one too. What was she talking about? What, what, she, what she talking about? I think she was talking about target, um, target bags. The Dura log burnt completely up. So what is my overall evaluation of this Liberty rocket heater? Overall, I give it a thumbs up. What I like about it is it's very efficient. You can burn waste products like sticks that you collect from your yard, uh, scrap boards, little pieces of wood. You can burn it and burn it very efficiently and produce a lot of heat with a very small amount of fuel. Uh, the downside of the rocket heater, as I see it, is you can't burn the large logs that you normally burn in your fireplace. Uh, they just won't fit in the unit. Uh, also, you have to feed it often. Uh, unlike your fireplace where you can just put a large amount of wood in it, and let it burn for a while. You do have to, uh, con not continuously, but pretty much um, frequently, you have to add fuel to the rocket heater. Overall though, I like the rocket heater. It's a very efficient. I believe it is an asset for us preppers, and so I give it a thumbs up. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared, or be prepared to be fleeced.